we bought a very big briefcase mm -hmm. and put it in his house. He was living in Kasaya. I hope those who are planning for their wedding, you are listening. Friends also came into play. I, oh. I realized that when we invest in good friends, mm -hmm. Uh, they might be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 added. Mm -hmm. But if you have some good 10 friends who mm -hmm. can take up your issues, mm -hmm. they can run with them very mm -hmm. fast. It's, it's important to invest with some good, serious friends. Mm -hmm. Friends that can take your bullet when you, there's yes. a bullet for you. Yeah. Hello and good evening lovely people. It is always a pleasure having you on board. And before we start, I always tell you that this is not a monologue show. So kindly, as we continue, kindly interact with us. We want to get your feedback. What are you learning? You know, as this couple continues with your story, is there something that you have learned from them. Yes, and this is Couples Will Show. This is where we write down our love will while we are alive. Or we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. My name is Willie Kinyash. I'm at the undisputed now kipenda Dr. Love. Yes, Mimi na Koroga Mapenzi in Indiana. That is why every Friday we gather and we come to tackle issues that concerns marriages. And I bring you different couples who come to share their love journey. And they were here last Friday and we left their story hanging. How on couples we can we leave a story hanging? Not just a story, but a love story. No we. And so they had to finish their story. And so we pick it from where we stopped last Friday. They were planning for the wedding. And you know, it's a story I called a doctor who treated a nurse with love. <laughs> you know? And they are here, the Mogambis, they continue with their love story. Hey guys. Hi. What are you going to Last Friday. Mm -hmm. Nyumba ilichomeka. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Nyumba ilichomeka. Mapenzi. Ah, it was fire. <laughs> so karibuni sana. Yes, thank you. And thank you for thank you. being open and mm. uh, sharing your, your journey with us. Mm. We really appreciate. And uh, we have received so many feedbacks from people who watched uh, the mm. show last Friday. Okay. So sijui nani ya taanzia? You are not afraid to define an introduction. Sasa mm. define an introduction. Mm. To Nigeria direct to the story. Mm. So you are planning for the wedding. Mm. How did it go? Um, I want to give her this time to start. How did it uh -huh. go? Yeah, I think as he said, uh, last list that uh, we had, we were the first committee <laughs> to plan for the wedding. Mm. Because I remember him sitting me down and asking me, should we lack support from friends, from family? Mm -hmm. And we are still, our point is that we have to have this wedding on 7th of August. Mm -hmm. How are we going to go about it? Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, we had to draw a budget by ourselves. We sat down, listed the items that will be required for the wedding. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what he was saying. We prepared early enough because we realized the budget that we of course, as he said, we were beginning. We are all from school. Mm -hmm. Finances are not as available as we would wish. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we had to work with what we had. Of course, planning our hand. Mm -hmm. So we listed items for the wedding. We kept purchasing each and every month. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was living independently. I was living on my own. Mm -hmm. And what we would do is we would ask ourselves, after we have paid all our bills, our individual bills, mm -hmm. after we have supported back home, mm -hmm. how much is remaining that we can pull these resources together and f give it to the, forecast it to the wedding budget. Mm -hmm. So we bought a very big briefcase mm -hmm. 
going to put it in his house. He was living in Kasayan. I hope those who are planning for their wedding, you are listening. <laughs> yes, please. It's very important. Mm. We put the briefcase in. If it's still there to date, mm. we put it in his house. So what we will do every month, we will we agreed on how much to to channel towards the wedding. Mm. So we would uh, put the money together. I, I had just gotten a job at uh, Nakuru, and I would travel and come, we shop, we would have ingrained what we are shopping. Mm -hmm. And of course we focused on things that doesn't, those items that will never change. Mm -hmm. Number one, a shoe. You want a good shoe for your wedding. Mm -hmm. uh, even one year later, your number remains. Yeah. So we bought his shoes in mm -hmm. good time. We bought my shoes like a year earlier. Mm -hmm. We put in the briefcase. Mm -hmm. we, we booked rings. We mm -hmm. didn't, we were looking, of course, we treasure rings. Yeah. So we wanted good rings. Mm -hmm. We will not afford what we, we wanted to have because of finances, mm -hmm. but we kept paying mm -hmm. gradually. Mm -hmm. So even by the time we were calling our friends to sit as a committee, mm -hmm. we knew exactly what we wanted and we have met, met already financed or we had purchased some of those things. Mm -hmm. So the committee came in and they supported us, the family supported us. We had a very colorful wedding. Mm -hmm. And from there we started now planning for, uh, of course it's no longer the ceremony, it's a marriage now, yes, you know, yes. the marriage. Mm -hmm. And the journey began from that point. Mm -hmm. Of course I know even as we were planning, we were clear that one of us should be enrolled in school. Mm -hmm. And immediately after mm -hmm. the honeymoon, wow. he went back to school. Mm -hmm. He went back to school mm -hmm. and after he continued some, I think two years, the second year I joined. Wow. You remember the promise yes, that yes. you will go back <laughs> yes, to school as school. you mm -hmm. wished. So he so kept the promise. Yes, so we planned. Mm -hmm. The beauty is we had, um, we were open from the one to go. Mm -hmm. Because you realize even as I'm a single girl planning for the wedding as a single man, mm -hmm. finances has never been a, an issue to us and I thank God for that. Because I could tell him what I'm earning, he could tell me what he's earning. And you're not yet married. And we are not yet married. Wow. I, I could that. expose my finance, my budget, I mean my, my expenses, he would mm -hmm. expose his uh, expenses. Mm -hmm. And we would agree this is what is remaining. After mm -hmm. I spend, this is mm -hmm. what I have. After you spend, this is what you have. Mm -hmm. So even after the wedding, even as we were going back to school, mm -hmm. we knew this is what is able to, now we don't have a wedding. Mm -hmm. The other thing we were not keen on is we didn't commit loans mm. for the wedding. Mm. We worked with our budget mm. and the support from people. Mm. So we didn't go borrowing to yeah. have a uh, wedding that mm. is out of our, mm. our what we could afford. Yes. So that now, immediately after the wedding, we were able to go back to school. Mm -hmm. So you see, school is a worthy, not to say that a wedding is not, mm -hmm. but you see also like uh, young people will get into debt mm -hmm. just to, to impress yes, or to impress to or to yes. belong to mm -hmm. some groups. Mm -hmm. or, to, yeah, or some and Maybe you don't know whether you, you want to belong to, <coughs> maybe they, are, they have that muscle mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. doing what they are doing. Yeah. So as we knew, we mm -hmm. knew where we were starting from mm -hmm. and we didn't want debt. Mm -hmm out of financing mm. a wedding. Mm. That's the reason why we worked back. We started quite, quite early. Wow. Yeah. I think that is very key. Yeah. And I wish all the young people who, who are planning for their wedding, they can take that advice. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a good one. Yeah. That they need to do what they know. This is what we are able to finance ourselves yeah. and the people who are supporting us. Yeah. Not going for loans. And because I always tell young people, there is life. After, After the wedding, wedding. Sure, sure, sure. Now, and, and at times you'll find many people, they want to invest uh, on the wedding yeah. and they forget about marriage. The marriage, the institution itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it is very important. Yeah. And, and now I want to bring in uh, yes. Mugambi. Even as you talk about uh, the wedding, yes. uh, maybe there's someone who is asking, ah, you guys, Kimbia Sana, how long did they court? So <laughs> it took you how long? in courtship and how how was that journey well um before i go to courtship probably can add something that she um for our wedding also we realized that um friends also came into play mm -hmm. I, I realized that when we invest in good friends mm -hmm. uh, they might be 10 20 30 40 50 added mm -hmm. but if you have some good 10 friends who mm -hmm. can take up your issues mm -hmm. they can run with them very mm -hmm. faster mm -hmm. 
I remember the first time I, I told some guys, hey, we are planning this, and I realized that guys started now forming groups. Yeah. Uh, we are not there, but meetings are going on. Mm -hmm. uh, they mobilized money. I mean, wow. the, the guys took off everything from mm -hmm. us, and mm -hmm. as we used to get updates, we, mm -hmm. are, we are no meeting Friday. Mm -hmm. We are rest this much. I mean, they, they just took the budget. Yes. So even as we are planning this other side, there are some also guys who are mm -hmm. bent our backs. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's important to invest with some good, serious friends. Mm -hmm friends that can take your bullet when you there's yes. a bullet for you. Yes. So I realized that um, our friends also played a very key role. Mm. There were not many, mm. but there were a few but guys gave from their heart. Yes. Oh, okay. but, but, but also, of yes. course, I think it is important to mention mm. this. Mm. The reason why they came in, it's because if you, mm. when they are having activities Absolutely. or Absolutely. events, Absolutely. you are always found. Absolutely. You know, there are some young people, they don't attend other people's events, yeah. but they when expect. they have theirs, they expect people to come. Mm. Yeah. They won't come. Okay, well. So it is uh, yeah. good to invest in into other people's lives. Absolutely. Mm. Yes. Okay. So it really played a big role to us. Mm. Most of the things that we were able to do, I, I remember some of those friends going as far as doing some shopping. I mean, people dividing rows. I mean, as we are just there, tell them, this is what we need. Guys are split. They say, I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll wow. look for so. Mm -hmm. So it, it was easier for us. Mm -hmm. uh, despite us having prepared for some time back, mm -hmm. some guys came in and they're like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So they just took over some rows and it was easy for us. Wow. So, and guys mobilized the transport, mobilized cars. We mm -hmm. never had to hustle to do whatever those things. Mm -hmm. So it is good to have um, a good number of people that you can say these are my friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can probably die for you yes. if there is a death to come, mm -hmm. and that's what was worked for us. Mm -hmm. uh, you asked about courtship, yes. and uh, yes, um, ours has been a journey. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly when courtship started. We don't know exactly <laughs> when everything started. Uh -huh. uh, it has been a journey that we cannot say this one stops. Uh -huh. and now it's we say on your max next is courtship. Uh -huh. So I cannot really purely say it started here, it ended here. We had the, well because it has been a journey of a growing progress. together. Mm -hmm. So I may not have specific period that mm -hmm. I say two years we did this, two years we, we did this, together. whatever oh. this. Yeah, but mm -hmm. we are together for some years. Wow. For some years, wow. yes. Uh, how was it like after now you you married, and now she needs to go back to school? How how was life? You've just gotten married, but again now this girl who happens now to be your wife is busy with books. How was it? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I was prepared for that. Mm -hmm. So actually, I remember. Um, most of the time, before even she started, I'm the one who used to like push her. Are you starting this, whatever this, uh, this, this thing I want to do? Mm -hmm. So um, I was ready for that, mm -hmm. and uh, I had already accepted that she has to do one, two, three things before. So we like planned the whole process. Mm -hmm. That at this point, mm -hmm. there's a school to be done. So I had already adjusted my mind. I tuned in to somebody who is doing whatever assignments and papers with busy revising for exams mm. and sometimes I also find myself helping her mm. read a mm. bit mm. there are some homeworks that I used to help her type mm. so she could do things then I do the draft for her mm. I could revise the draft mm -hmm. oh. so we are all sleeping late but we are doing the same thing mm. so she can be cooking and as well as now doing the typing for her mm -hmm. mm. she'll come and read whether what I've typed is the right what she wanted to type mm -hmm. so well it worked well for us mm. I do not feel there's a gap Mm -hmm. Well, because I was part of the journey, mm -hmm. um, I actually felt part of the process. Mm -hmm. So it did not really feel anything mm -hmm. ever that there's a gap. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I did not realize that, oh, she has been finished. Because it was, well, it was a journey that we started together, mm -hmm. pulled through together, supported each other. Mm -hmm. And when she finished, we were like, oh, that is over, so we can think of something else. Mm -hmm. So we were all together in this. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I think I did not feel any gap in it because I was part of the process. Mm -hmm. It becomes difficult when you are not part of the journey yeah. and you are ambushed by things. Mm -hmm. uh, like somebody tells you, oh, I'm in school, then you end up with school now. Mm -hmm. So the moment you are part of the cycle of a person, mm -hmm. you know this time, Mm. You, are, you are making all the clock tick, this side is cool, mm. you go like that. It works mm. for us uh, and yeah. it has worked. Mm. So I did not feel any gap, neither mm. any loneliness. I was okay. We were mm. okay actually. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Nice. I, I remember you said that you agreed mm. and uh, there are promises that he kept mm. that after we get married, we are not getting babies yeah. anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, how long did it uh, take to get babies? 
It took us four years. Uh huh. Uh, cause uh, it was keen that I finish. I finish my my degree. Mm -hmm. My husband is a Cantonesian. Mm -hmm. Someone who loves books. Uh, and as he says, mm -hmm. he's the one actually who kept pushing me. Have you applied? Actually, some will even apply for me. Mm -hmm. So he kept pushing, when are you going back to school? When are you going back to school? Have you? Sometimes I'm feeling lazy. I want to register for three units. He says, take maximum. Mm -hmm. I'm like, maximum, I have work. Will I manage? He tells me we will do together. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not very good with the... Uh, statistics and I know it was part of it. Mm -hmm. He did it. He would coach me. Mm -hmm. He would help me do those calculations. So it's been in my journey of education and I think uh, even after I finished immediately started pushing me go for masters. Mm -hmm. After I finished my masters he <laughs> started pushing me. Can you register for your PhD? I did register. And I registered <laughs> <laughs> and I registered out of pressure. I have the admission letter because I didn't want to disappoint him. Because he wrote me a very long test and he said, The day you will register for your PhD will be my happiest day. So I felt like I'm letting him down. I had to reconcile me, I'm not a <laughs> book person mm -hmm. and to reconcile that he wants me to do the phd not that he wants me to do phd because he doesn't want me to enjoy I me mean, i was feeling with masters i am mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. so i went to register and i got the admission but i think cause so timing mm -hmm. and seasons for some discussions in marriage is very critical mm -hmm. so i am to take to look for an appropriate time to bring my discussion on why i don't want to do my phd mm -hmm. And um, not because I don't want, because I felt like I have, not like I have a passion on relationship and, and I think this is what I want to retire to mm -hmm. in marriage. And I felt, could I venture into this because him mm -hmm. he is, as I said, he is a, an academician as much as he's clinical, he is as well teaches mm -hmm. in various universities. So, so I was feeling like I don't, teaching is not my thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, whatever level I've achieved, even in my corporate job, I mm -hmm. think I am among the highest, mm -hmm. having a master's. A PhD will never do me any good. You know, there is, there is that paper, it's good to have, mm -hmm. but the value, I wouldn't say I would be promoted because I have a PhD. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm looking at this area of relationship and marriage. Mm -hmm. This is an area that I'm passionate and I want to grow. And at an appropriate time, we brought up the discussion mm -hmm. and he married in Twitter and he agreed, he aligned, and he felt. You also felt that I pursued this area. So I think that is on academics. Yes, I took four years. We took four years to get our babies. Mm -hmm. And of course, the school played uh, this, the space I wanted mm -hmm. <laughs> also was an opportunity you to... You wanted to bring out the, the girlish in the you? The girlish in me. Yes. I wanted to travel to some mm -hmm. places I've not traveled. Mm -hmm we were able to do because even if I didn't it single, it was then my fiancé. I think some of those places I would have done together with him. Mm -hmm. So I had that opportunity also of building a relationship of knowing one another mm -hmm. in that we have time for ourselves. Mm -hmm. I have time to know is the other side. I've been meeting this guy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you see people say you meet when you're courting or you're dating or you're in a courtship. You're meeting your best behavior. Mm -hmm. So you're meeting this person you're waking up every morning to. Mm -hmm. It gave us an, a very good period for ourselves to bond mm -hmm. and to know each other's weaknesses, each other's strength. Mm -hmm. And even as babies were coming then, we felt like we are prepared psychologically, mm -hmm. financially. We are ready. We mm -hmm. are ready for that, that part in the family, mm -hmm. in this institution. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, every marriage uh, will face challenges yeah and I know even in your marriage there are some challenges you yeah. have uh, faced mm -hmm. and uh, that is what I want us to talk about as we come back yes yes we continue with this love story of this amazing couple and so what is that are you learning from them as they share their journey with us is there something you're saying yes that is a good point. Kindly. Leave a comment. Write something down there. That would encourage us. Yes. And this is Couples Will Show. And this is where we write down our love with 
while we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone we continue listening to this love story of the Mugambis. So what, what are some of the challenges have you gone through in your marriage? Um, well, uh, challenges are part of life, especially in, in a marriage contest. And uh, for the years we have been together, what I can probably say is that um, one of the biggest challenges, especially from my side, when I speak from my side, has been um, juggling between work, family, children, uh, and personal issues, family issues. So you find that uh, time is time. probably conflicting. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm supposed to drop her somewhere, I'm held up here, mm -hmm. that becomes a source of conflict. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep her waiting, maybe somewhere she waits for like four hours, I come and get her, she's agitated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we start from there now, mm -hmm. okay, from the point of agitation. Mm -hmm. So it has been one of the key things that I've found as a main challenge to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course the other things is uh, finances whereby there are so many things that you want to do within a short time mm. you want to do this, you want to do this, you want to do this you want to start this project, you want to start this then and probably you start all of them mm. uh, maybe you start all of them mm. uh, well those days uh, probably you look at well their income against this and then you have so many things to do so you put all in the table and then at one point you touch here, you touch here, you touch here, then all of them are touched, 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 touched. Mm -hmm. Then you want to make sure they are complete within a certain period. Mm -hmm. You're completing between timeline, completing. So sometimes it puts you like overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And that can also be a source of challenge. And uh, probably we, well, at one point you find yourself, you are not in good terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, maybe she doesn't understand exactly where are these things at the same time? Then you want to see these things being done. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know whether probably uh, I'm a perfectionist maybe. I want mm -hmm. to see things exactly done, done. and to my timelines. Mm -hmm. I said this time by <coughs> this time should be there. So the moment it exceeds my timeline, then I get like frustrated sort of what's all this now. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, um, well, but I think over time, um, we have been, have been able not to probably, we have been able to discuss this mm -hmm. and agree well what is the major things we need to do mm. and what what can we push mm -hmm. what we need to do now mm -hmm. and she has been very she has been very supportive on that because sometimes i have to come and tell her well look there's something one two three what do you think mm -hmm. and then there are some ideas i've come with that she tells me that one is just throw it away about <laughs> it. that one cannot <laughs> that one is dead as it has arrived yes so then i'm like oh, they have thought about it for like a month so a month has taken for me to think of something, she comes and trashes her, I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So the other ideas that I probably come with is just clogged up and she broadens it and make, make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, well, equally to her, there are those things that she has come with and I probably, some of them, I trash others, I buy, mm -hmm. we follow that. Mm -hmm. So um, <coughs> over time we have been supporting each other to just overcome those, uh, those kind of challenges. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing probably that has worked for us the issue of the time and managing all those things, we mm. have not decided deliberately just to to put time and just to create time for ourselves mm. and to make sure that we don't allow these things that are not directly involving us mm. to interfere with our timing, mm. you know, so that we look at it from that holistic approach. Is this affecting us, the two of us? Yes, so we need to do that. Mm. Whatever is affecting us beyond that, we mm. now have to prioritize what is the priority now, then we move like that. Mm. Um, yeah, I think that is probably uh, she can add something. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, yeah some of the challenges he has mentioned. I think time because of our the nature of our work, mm -hmm. especially himself, because uh, he's constantly at the clinical at the hospital. Mm -hmm. So and you know, actually based on his specialization, it requires him to, he can be called any time. Mm -hmm. So we would be planning for a, for a, a planning for a dinner. A dinner. <laughs> then a phone call. <laughs> and a phone call comes, comes through. In. There's a gunshot. There's an emergency. So you see there's some emergencies also. And I think what also has helped me to understand is also being someone from the clinical 
background. Mm. I have the clinical training. Mm. So, because sometimes I sit and ask if I was not a clinician also, if I was not a clinical person, mm. I would you, you even think someone is making up. Mm. Yeah, mm. but yeah. because my background also aligns with ease, mm. then I'm able to understand when he says this is an emergency, this, this nature of an emergency. Mm. So I can say it has been a challenge because uh, of the time we want to be together, mm -hmm. something comes up mm -hmm. that pushes the program or what you had planned together. Mm -hmm. uh, the other challenge I want to talk about, I think he has mentioned about finances and especially initially when we were starting this journey, mm -hmm. because yes, we started from the scratch, yeah. from the right from the scratch. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to build yourself academically, trying to build. In my, we married when he was <laughs> cooking mm -hmm. from the floor mm -hmm. without a uh. table. So, and we've seen ourselves, you can imagine from that, that level, because mm -hmm. uh, you realized that we got married immediately after school. Yes. So we are trying to fix our ending, as he said, support other people back home, fix bills here in Nairobi, and we have a life to build also and to have those good things, good to have. Mm -hmm. So initially, of course, there, it was a challenge, but how we overcame it, we have been very deliberate about our institution. Mm -hmm. So we focused, my husband keep on saying, we fight a common enemy. We drop everything else and fight a common enemy. So that is even a message he keeps on passing to the young people. Mm -hmm. that the moment you learn to drop your differences and fight a common enemy, you will make progress. Mm -hmm. So that really helped us because we were scoring from one direction. Mm -hmm. It's not like he's on this side, I'm on this side. Mm -hmm. We focused and over time we've been able, I can say God has helped us to overcome the issue around. Of course, there's no time you'll ever say, I have enough money. Mm -hmm. But of course, also prioritizing just as he's saying, even as we focus now on even other bigger projects, mm -hmm. is to know what to give first priority once we complete it with its timelines, then we can allow the other one to, to kick off. Mm -hmm. The other challenge I can talk about is uh, ours has been on, on, on marriage, on the institution learning. Mm -hmm. We didn't have people to really tell us what is expected in marriage, mm -hmm. to prepare us for the marriage. Mm -hmm. So when that came, when that came in, when we got in the institution, mm -hmm. not prepared, mm -hmm. we had to work our way out yeah. to know how to be successful. Mm -hmm. And I think like him, he, he, he came from a background that, as he said, mm -hmm. was not very, especially when you look at the marriage, mm -hmm. he decided he is to be a model. Mm -hmm. Personally, I come from a marriage where my mother has been a model of a working marriage. Mm. So I've learned from my mother that you cannot get into a marriage that fails, that a woman should be A, B, C, D for your marriage to work. She has maintained me in that area. Mm. And him is working towards being a model mm. in his family mm. and in his lineage mm -hmm. of a properly working marriage. So when we put that together, we couldn't allow anything to come in between that we could have a marriage that is not working. Mm -hmm. So that was initially a challenge because we were juggling around challenges of marriage. Nobody ever told us that it's okay for the first years of marriage to be to, ha to have stormy moments. Mm -hmm. I tell young people, it's okay. When they come to me, things are not working. I tell them it's okay. Mm -hmm. First years of marriage to have storm in your marriage. Mm -hmm. But nobody told us. Yeah. So some, that was a challenge. Mm -hmm. But by God's grace, mm -hmm. you were able to overcome because you are determined mm -hmm. that this institution must work. Wow. Yeah. Uh, having gone through the challenge of time, yes. uh, I want to give each, uh, each one of you two minutes, two minutes to, to, to speak to couples out there who could be going through the same challenge of time Maybe uh, this, this person works at night and the other spouse is not understanding how should they handle that or how should they have that understanding. Okay, great. Um, time is never enough. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere that you get time is enough. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's, it's you that you create the time you want. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've learned over time, mm -hmm. that um, 
even if I say I'll, I have no time, literally is what I've perceived in myself. Mm. Job will always be there, we'll always work, we'll always do other events. Mm. But time for your spouse, you are bound to create it. Mm. It's a well, it's a deliberate effort. Mm. You have to decide to create time. Mm. So the little opportunity you get to get time to be your spouse, mm. make use of that. Mm. And then probably you can agree, the two of you, this day looks a bit easier for all of us. Can we probably have lunch? Can we have dinner? Can we have some time in the evening? Uh, probably of children, of our activities, of our phones. Can we sit, discuss? Can we sit and revisit ourselves? Mm -hmm. Can we probably have a day? Can we have an evening? Can we have a weekend out? Can we? Well, you have to create time. It's a deliberate, well, it's a deliberate mm -hmm. effort. Mm -hmm. uh, no one can create time for you to do that. Mm -hmm. Your employer wants the work to be done. Mm -hmm. up to 5 mm -hmm. or 6 p.m. Yes. That is cast on stone. Mm -hmm. uh, your children wants, wants their dad or their mom mm -hmm. home to come and cook. They don't know there is the other aspect. Mm -hmm. There is their husband and their wife in you. Yeah. They knew as dad as, dad as mom. So mm -hmm. whatever else you are called, husband, hubby, sweetheart, whatever, mm -hmm. they don't know that. Mm -hmm. So it's you not know, to decide deliberately that I need to create time mm -hmm. for my spouse. Mm -hmm. So, well, like for us, when I get time off my busy things, things, and I realize, oh, I have like one hour, this, whatever, this lunch time. I rush to her and tell her, well, you have some time, we have lunch. Within that time, we'll have catched one, mm -hmm. two, three things. Eh? Mm -hmm. In the evening, probably, I tell her, well, are you along the road? Well, can you probably enter somewhere there? I'm coming and we have, our, well, mm -hmm. the bit of our time. Yeah. So sometimes off, well, well, sometimes weekends, you can get a one or two hours or so. Mm -hmm. Just make time for yeah. yourselves. Yeah. There's no time that will be enough. Mm -hmm. Even if you're given 24 hours. Mm -hmm it will not be enough. Mm -hmm. But you have to create time within that 24 hours to make sure uh, you and your spouse, you fit in that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, because also the demands for life are there. You have mm -hmm. to work, you have mm -hmm. to look for money, mm -hmm. you have to feed your children, you have mm -hmm. to pay for whatever bills. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, are, you actually spend most of the time at work place. Yes. You spend like eight or 10 hours every day. Mm -hmm. The time you are, you are with your spouse is maybe at night, maybe eight to 10, that's the time you are awake. Yeah, and you are awake that time, maybe one hour, then after that you sleep. You yes. again meet in the morning, oh, mm. it's 5 a.m., mm. I'm late for work. Mm. So there's no time you have. Mm. You have to create time. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I would concur with him because ours has been very deliberate, creating time. The moment we realized that uh, you can be running an institution, I'm arranged as an institution, we sat back and said, no, we have to be deliberate. Actually, I remember there's a time we, we uh, we were very intentional about the days that we meet. When we look uh, over the week, you find like on Tuesdays I'm in church after work, maybe on uh, same case to him, main, main fellowship meet on Tuesdays as well. So or he's engaged somewhere else and we set a specific day. We said by the Fridays, mm -hmm. every Friday or Friday to uh, one, one, I mean one Friday in a fortnight. Mm -hmm. We must meet at this time. It's our time. Mm -hmm. It's no babies. You know, also couples get needs to realize that there's a family and there's a marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage is between you and your wife. Mm -hmm. Children comes in, they make a family. Mm -hmm. So we push our kids out mm -hmm. of our marriage mm -hmm. because they are not parties to it. Mm -hmm. So we create time for ourselves. Sometimes I may realize that he's busy at work. I, I organize and get him and get away. We mm. can't get away. Mm. I, I, I plan, I know now one thing he doesn't like me driving over long distances, especially on matters concerning work. Mm. So I know the moment I mention mm -hmm. I'm supposed to go somewhere mm -hmm. working, mm -hmm. he will create, he will get to have his colleagues cover for him mm -hmm. where he works. Mm -hmm. So I create imaginary jobs. Yes. <laughs> and we will go over, uh, of course, I don't make them regular so that he doesn't suspect a trend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he tells, I tell him, I'm going to Naivasha, I'm going to give a talk somewhere, and job re demands. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'll drive you. Mm -hmm. So that becomes our time, our weekend get away. Wow. In the evenings, like uh, sometimes he will come to my hour <laughs> where I work at 11. Mm -hmm. And he tells me, I'm at your parking. Once you get time, come and go have lunch because afternoon I'm engaged. So also me, my work, I, 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 know how to, I know how to plan myself such that maybe I create time for him, but maybe my lunch time now, I am back to the office. Mm -hmm. So as he says, you have to be very intentional mm -hmm. about, otherwise you can be strangers to one another and yeah. yet you're sleeping in one bed. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. 
what a love story it's amazing an amazing journey and i'm told that our time is up mm. but i want to thank you for creating time even creating time to come and share mm. your journey with us so thank you very much and i believe through your story there's a marriage mm. that has been healed sure, sure. now there's something we always do here mm. before i let a couple go mm -hmm. and uh there's no way i can be selfish and <laughs> don't do this to you so not come on galiane galiane is it and uh we start with mugambi mm -hmm. i want you to speak to your wife mm -hmm. sweet words that will come from deep in your heart I've given you free airtime. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> you are the love of my life. Mm -hmm. I treasure you. I love you. Well. Wow. Uh for me, you know, over time that uh, if I was given a chance to choose, I'll choose you a million times. You're one of the best blessings that I count twice when given a chance. God bless our marriage and I love you so so much. That was fast. <laughs> I have sealed it, you know. <laughs> I have sealed it with a hug or <laughs> 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 wow, but thank you, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Um you are an amazing couple and uh we are looking forward to having you again here. Uh, that you can continue mm -hmm. encouraging couples out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, we were we were discussing off air, and you were mm -hmm. saying people are saying that marriages are not working. Yeah. But we want to prove them wrong. Sure. We want sure. to tell them that marriages are working, including these ones who have not joined. Amen. Mm -hmm. You have been <laughs> prophesied unto. Yours will work. <laughs> Amen. So <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for coming. Oh, okay. We really appreciate mm. uh, God for the journey that He has taken you. Sure. So thank you very much. Santa. Okay. Thank you. Yes. And we come to the end of tonight's show. I hope you have enjoyed their love story. I have totally, totally enjoyed. And for me, my take home is I must be intentional about creating time for my wife. I must become intentional. I'll do it deliberately. Mm -hmm. What is your take home? Let us know. And God will bless you. So thank you very much for joining us. And see you on Friday. This is Couples Will Show. And this is where we write down our love with, when we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. That is why every other Friday we gather here at 9.45 p.m. to come and share our journeys and how it has been. For now it is a good night. God bless you. And God bless your marriage. God bless your relationship in Jesus' name. My name is Will Kinyash. I'm at the Undisputed Now Kipenda Dr. Love. And this is Wema TV, the voice of hope. Kindly follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Wema TV. And also you can follow me on Facebook. You can check out Willie Kinyash underscore couples with and you'll be able to interact with me. Also, uh, Instagram, Willie Kinyash, TikTok, Iko Uko, and we'll be glad to see you there. And, and maybe before we go, how can people reach out to you? Maybe their are, they are, they are couples would love to reach out to you? Maybe we can share our numbers. Yes. Uh, mine is 0722-1085. My husband is 0721-959088. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Social media platforms? We are on uh, Facebook. Yeah. Instagram, mm -hmm. you'll find Mary Nan Mugambi. Mary Nan Mugambi? Yes, here mm -hmm. you'll find Kenneth Mugambi. Kenneth Mugambi. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. Okay. We need to interact with you. Yeah. And so if you have any question, you can talk to them via those uh, platforms. Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm.